Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect. I was thinking about this. <laughs> Standing in front of the uh, galaxy map. I think, like, I can grab random stuff out of my locker. Like, every time we come back to the ship. This locker right here. Can we not? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, man. I was gonna say, I could remember doing that. Like, every time coming back to the ship, I could remember having a reason to go, like, downstairs and do something. But until now, I just couldn't remember what the heck it was. But I could remember having to go downstairs every time. Like, I was thinking maybe it was the shop, right? Because the shop is, you know, you take the elevator down, and you got the shop. Now, what were we even doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. <coughs> <coughs> Flashy, flashy, you guys. As if I didn't see that. Oh, okay. That's my first time playing, uh, well, not my first time. It's my first time playing Mass Effect, you guys. <laughs> Freaking episode 20 something. <laughs> now, it's uh, my first video in a couple of days. Like, I haven't played Mass Effect in a few days. Um, so we're gonna go to the Sparta system because we need to go to, uh, uh, solve Admiral Kahoku's mission, you guys, which is the last thing I saw that right there. <clears throat> I'm usually pretty quick to catch these little sparklies. Now, we have definitely not been here before. Got a nice big boy, Prothean Data Disc, you guys. Mmm. Delicious. Let's stop and look for other sparklies. Let's go down a bit, see the bottom of this big ring here. Do you guys see any sparklies? <laughs> yo, if you guys see something that I miss, please let me know in the comments and be like, yo, you missed like a sparkly sparkly or something. One, two, three, four, five planets in this system again. We've got Tremainer. Can't do anything to this bad boy, but there's a whole bunch of information on it. Right on the second ring, we have Edelus. Commander, I'm picking oh. up a signal from the planet's surface. <coughs> it looks like an automated distress beacon. Okay. Alright, so we've got a very obvious dis uh, distress beacon here on this planet, Edelus. There's a planet with atmosphere, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Sorry, guys, just quickly reading. Minus one degrees Celsius. Exploration is highly dangerous due to a high rate of meteor impacts, you guys. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Let's check the rest of these planets, though. Altaya. Can't do anything to this bad boy, either. It's a purple planet, you guys. Antamalka. Oh, we can survey Antamalka. It looks like a whole bunch of, uh... <coughs> oh, it's a gas giant. Got a bunch of hydrogen, you guys. Ew. Alsages. We can also survey this. Oh, look at that. All the information there. Uh, minus 193. Plutonium, you guys. Alright. So here we go. Was it this one? Which one was it, you guys? <laughs> Dang it. This one? Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go land on Edelus, which is apparently another planet that is basically hell on Earth. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> apparently, there's gonna be like meteor showers. Let's go ahead and squad up. <clears throat> Take a sip of my delicious coffee, you guys. <laughs> Mm. Oh shit. All right, here we are. Oh my goodness. This game is amazing, you guys. What the hell? Oh, that's right, eh? We have a level up. 
All right, let's clear this codex, check our journal. Uh, we're gonna have a fresh one here on missing marines. <coughs> Land on Edelis in the Sparta system of the Artemis Tau Cluster and investigate the source of the distress call, you guys. Go ahead and squad up. I wanted to unlock sniper rifles because then you can actually like fucking use <laughs> fucking use a sniper rifle. <laughs> Otherwise, it's almost impossible. I swear to God. Um. Oh yeah, overload, man. Let's get him overload so he can use that in combat, and let's give him one point to sniper rifle. There we go. He has at least one point on everything now. I think we do too. Oh, we need one point on first aid to actually learn first aid, which would be nice. Uh, tally, we need electronics, you guys. I believe that, yes, that's our hard objects. We can now open hard objects, you guys, finally. <laughs> All right, so we got debris. The distress signal is right there and an anomaly here. Let's take a quick little jog over this way, because once again, <coughs> if I was a man looking for minerals, this might be where I would want to get. Now see, the good thing about this is the map, right? So you can see down at the bottom there's that number 42222, right? Oh, there is stuff down here too. Oh, uh, that's actually the distance that the Mako is able to see um, on its radar. So 422. 22 feet. So almost a football field and a half. You can make it, baby. You can make it. You can make it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. What is that, you guys? Polonium. Here we go. Here we go. First time playing Mass Effect in a couple of days. Will he do it? He will. Rare element, you guys. Delicious. Oh, we got 1300 bucks for that. Alright, it was smart to go down there. I just thought this was like a big open, wide open area with nothing in it, and I was like, you yeah, know, what a convenient place. That's gotta be. Oh, on every planet, if you guys are wondering, on every planet, there is at least one deposit of minerals. Most of them only have one, but there's like, I think there's like six or seven planets in this game. Uh, that do have more than one. What is that? Is that the distress signal? It's not. It appears to be... <coughs> It's some type of rover with a cannon on it. There's nothing to do, though. Kind of strange. <laughs> Just sitting down in the middle of nowhere. Maybe it's like a mining vehicle or something. <coughs> Pardon me, you guys. I got something, like, totally stuck in my throat today. For the last, like, fucking three hours. <laughs> you ever get that, you guys? Ah, oh, see, there's another patch of minerals over here, you guys. Let's go get it. Oh, and if anybody's watch uh, watching uh, that hasn't, like, played this game, yes, I am the one controlling these little thrusters, if you're wondering. They don't just, like, um, they don't just, like, activate on their own. Dang, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's bright as hell. Lithium. Oh, I almost pressed A there. I almost pressed the wrong button. Light metal, you guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go check out this uh, debris over here. Oh, we almost did a tree sixty. <laughs> Finally, you guys, we can actually freaking get one of these. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I might have to, like, watch some older videos to, like, see, uh, which ones we missed and stuff and go back and get them. Ooh, Chemical Rounds Combat Sensor 3, Incendiary 3. Just got some cool stuff. All targets down. All targets down? What do you mean? <laughs> there were no targets to begin with, my love. Let's go check this anomaly real fast. Getting back into the groove of things, you guys. Good old Mass Effect, man. When this game, like, first came out, I totally fell in love with this game. Like, immediately. Like, I'm a big space buff, right? Like, I love, like, just the idea of outer space and, like, space travel and, like, you know, the science fiction future type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just love it. So this game was, like, it was almost as if they made it for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I freaking love this game. <clears throat> and once again, I actually have not played uh, Mass Effect 3. So when we get up there to Mass Effect 3, it's going to be pretty interesting. I've actually never played it before. Am I not seeing something? A mummified Solarian, you guys. Damn, he's been here for a while. Oh, I hit B. I won't lie to you. <clears throat> yeah, anytime I mess these things up, I will tell you if I if I actually legitimately failed it or not. Or if, like, the game screwed me over <laughs> or something. Awesome. Alright, so we were able to get that too, which is great. Let's go check out this distress signal, you guys. I'm expecting a fight here. Find a way to get up and over this. <clears throat> wow, the uh, the surface of this planet is actually kind of like um, I guess you could say it's sort of sort of sticky. Our tires are really gripping. <clears throat> My goodness. Oh, I see it. Looks like a little uh, EEV or something. I don't see anybody, but that little transponder. The little transponder is working. I can see it spinning. All right, let's go in smart. Don't know what to expect. Oh. Oh, hell no. And if you're wondering, I cannot fire this gun and the cannon at the same time. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, what? What? Dun, dun, dun. Oh no. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Oh no. If you're wondering, yeah, it is actually kind of difficult to aim this thing. 
And if you're moving and you shoot your cannon at the same time, it, it doesn't exactly hit the spot that you want it to. Nice, I hit it twice there. Nice, bring the ear. Ah. <clears throat> and the cannon only shoots like every, uh, it's about two and a half seconds. It's like bang, and bang. See, that's how slow the cannon is. So, missed. <laughs> Come on. God, you son of a bitch. Alright. Come on. Dang it. Hey, you don't. Oh my god! No, 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 Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking kill you, you motherfucker. Uh, oh, you goddamn son of a bitch, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Goddamn son of a bitch. My like, god. Uh, Marines, you guys, damn. soldiers. Looks like they were ruined here by the distress beacon. <clears throat> Damn, so somebody set a distress beacon. That's crazy. So somebody set a distress beacon and then died, and then these guys showed up to check that distress beacon, and they also met the same uh, end. Dang. And then we just showed up and essentially, uh, like, reunificated them. I'm, I'm not really sure what to call that. Whoops. Read it. <coughs> Let's check this out. We might be returning to the Citadel, you guys. Found the dead bodies of the men who served under Admiral Kahoku. Returned to the Citadel Tower and informed the Admiral of their fate. Alright, so we have our two main missions. Those are the only two things that we have left to do. Um, back to the ship, you guys. <laughs> Let me take a sip of my coffee, you guys. Uh, and my throat is so hoarse, you guys. Uh, <clears throat> I spent like all day with the Sophia at the park yesterday. <laughs> so my voice is a little hoarse. From being like, Sophia, come on, yeah. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> like throwing, uh, throw. She has like a, not a tennis ball. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like a, it's like a tough tennis ball. It's like a dog tennis ball. You understand what I'm trying to say? Anyway, <clears throat> Sophia, like rips like a normal tennis ball. If you give Sophia a normal tennis ball, she peels it like an orange. So she doesn't really get a whole lot of enjoyment out of them. Um, so we got the uh, Novaria Geth Interest. Both of them are Geth. Council has received reports of Geth Interest in the corporate research colony of Novaria, you guys. The council needs to know why. Head to Novaria to investigate the reports of Geth on the world. And we've got a Pharos Geth attack. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharos. Your primary objective is to go to the Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. Investigate Pharaohs to see why the colony was attacked by the Geth. Alright, so that is kind of like our very main mission because that's going after Saren. So let's go do this one first. Novaria Geth Interest. <coughs> Alright. Novaria, you guys. Can I go down to my locker right now? And will there be... <laughs> will there be goodies? Just a quick check, you guys. Pretty sure that after every mission... Oh no, it's open. Okay. Maybe it's just like... Every hour... Or something like that? I'm not sure. But I do know that you can definitely open that locker like a million times throughout the playthrough of this game. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to Novaria. 
Uh, these little gethies are gonna get it, you guys. Uh. I think this is one of the DLCs, you guys. Let's check this out. Asgard, you guys. Looks like there's only two systems here. Well, unless there's one way over here. No. Nope. So we've got Utopia. I'm not sure, but I think that this is one of the DLCs. I think. Alright. It's got a nice system here. Let's... Now, just because there's no, um, like, asteroid belt, uh, doesn't mean that there's not going to be sparklies. So, in every new system that you come to, you definitely want to stop and take it a look. I don't see anything. There's five planets on this ring. Let's check this out. Arcadia, you guys. Can't do anything to this bad boy. Eden Prime. <coughs> this is the planet that the war was fought on, you guys. Eden Prime. Population 3.7 million. Zion. There's a population there, too. 1,061. Cool. We've got Nirvana, you guys. <coughs> we can't do anything to this as well. Xanadu, you guys. <laughs> we can't do anything to this as well. What the shit? I'm pretty sure that this is one of the DLCs. We're gonna, we're gonna find stuff here, though. Asteroid X-5-7, you guys. We're traveling to Asgard. Alright. <clears throat> Took a sip of my coffee. Let us observe. For thou sparklies. I do not see any sparklies. There are four planets on this ring and a very large asteroid here. Let's check out the planets first. Terra Nova. Can't do anything to this. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. 4.4 million people live there. It's like another Earth. What the fuck is this thing? Look at that thing. Boar. <coughs> Whoa, it turned red when we got close. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything to any of these planets. We got Tyr. Whoa, look at the surface. What the hell is that? It's quite similar to Earth. Ethan. Terraforming. <coughs> Crazy. They're uh, like industrial plants. Look at the surface of the planet, you guys. You can see all those like little lines. Those are fucking industrial plants and shit. 47,000 people live on that planet. And we got this little bad boy, Loki. We can't do anything to this guy either. Cool. <coughs> Alright, you guys. Asteroid X57. Oh, uh, it's actually like literally huge. Like it's like a it's kind of almost a planet, really. Metallic asteroid originally. Uh, sort of funny. Communications with the engineering team on X57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova. Okay. Let's go take a look. I don't know what the hell we're getting into, but we're getting into it. <laughs> I think that this is one of the DLCs. <laughs> Bonus content, you guys. <laughs> <coughs> wow, 
might be another planet. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. effect <clears throat> all right uh bring down the sky after landing on this small asteroid you were contacted by a human three fusion torches are being used to direct the asteroid into the path of a nearby planet she's urged you to find the torches and shut them down find the three fusion torches and disable them all right, it looks like there's one of them right in front of us <clears throat> yeah, we got fusion torch, transmission tower, fusion torch, and fusion torch. We're going right to that transmission tower first, you guys. Oh, there is definitely enemies. There's enemies on the map. <laughs> Lots of enemies. Headed in the right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm damn it. No. What? Oh, I don't know if I actually jumped that there, but I may have. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Can't catch me, baby. Come on. It's my girl. Hey, how's it going? Got me, motherfucker. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Hello up there. <clears throat> can't catch me. Let's go up and see if we can't find this uh, communications tower again. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. You can make it, you can make it. You can fucking make it. What the? Seems like it might be a little bit difficult to get up there. Whoa, that was so cool. This is crazy. Mass Effect is so good. That is so cool. Alright, we got a transmitter tower, you guys. Let's <clears throat> go so ahead and try to uh, repair this bad boy right here. Uh, data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations have been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map, you guys. Squad up, you guys. <laughs> now, if we go to the second level of um, 
uh, of charm, we do get the good dialogue options, but we're uh, a, a bad boy in, the, <laughs> in this playthrough, so... Oh, there's advanced unity. And that that's revive, if you're wondering. Unity is to how to revive uh, your team members. Oh, that's right. Let's learn first aid so that we have a second way to heal ourselves other than just medigels. And Spectre Training adds quite a bit of, uh, like, stats to your character as well, so, like, look at that. The duration of all your powers and attacks by 2.5%, increases health by 6.5%, increases accuracy by 5%, regenerates an extra 1% of accuracy per second, like, holy fuck, you know what I mean? Every little boost that you get on Spectre Training is a, a massive, massive boost, and I want Advanced Unity so that I can bring somebody back with 20% health and 60% of their shields, which is, uh... Pretty good, I mean, that, that's bringing somebody back from the dead and putting them back in the fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's not too bad at all. Let's do uh, Tally Tally first. Tally needs, uh, oh yeah, her, her shields get ridiculous if you just finish her electronics. <clears throat> she becomes, like, uh, <laughs> very hard to kill. Um... What should we do? Ten percent. Thirteen percent. Well, we should get him that just in case, uh... I, I kinda like using, uh, Garrus as, like, a scout sniper, almost. Well, let's get a game save, you guys. Yeah, man, we're 32 minutes in, so uh, I'll say thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Mass Effect. Look at all these things on our map, you guys. Survey Station 3 and stuff. Oh, uh, baby. Well, we'll go check out these survey stations uh, in the uh, next episode first before we do, because the torches are the overall objective of this mission, right? So we want to do everything else that we can before fucking with these torches, because I... I you know, obviously there's going to be some stuff to pick up in uh, these places, right? So we're going to go there. Or we should go to this one first. We're closer to it. Survey Station 3. And then we'll go... We'll do this one. Oh, no. You know what we'll do? We'll, we're going to do this one first. Then we'll come up and do that one. We'll take out this fusion torch. Then we'll drive down here and do this place. And then we'll take out the other two fusion torches. Bam, and thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Mass Effect. Give me a favor, leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. I freaking love you guys. I wish you guys the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, of course. I'll see you guys in the very next episode, so have a good one. <laughs> bye, bye.